We traveled over a thousand miles to check out the brand new micro center in Indianapolis. After stepping inside, we picked up a basket and headed straight for the keyboard aisle. Very massive keyboard aisle. We've got the glorious display, pretty nice display. I think this is all Logitech here. Lots of keycaps over here. What is this? It's a micro center brand of keyboard. Right now it's only $30. That's a steal. We've got mice, switches, more keycaps. Well, there's a lot of sales going on. Whoa, cherry switches. Those are my favorite. Cherry Emmys round. <laughs> the Corsair aisle. We've got the big Corsair, next biggest Corsair, and the mini, mini Corsair. If I had to pick my favorite, it'd be this one. I used this one for a while. Ooh, a keyboard made by Micro Center? It's a gaming MK Pro 75%. We're in the Indian app. Indiana, Indianapolis <laughs> Micro Center. Half the store is like keyboards. So we're gonna start right here. The Razer keyboard display. We've got Death Stalker, one of my faves. This one's really cool. The Huntsman Mini. Everything is very green and RGB is just top notch here in the Razer aisle. And everything is like sort of on sale. You got the Huntsman Mini for only a hundred bucks. That used to be 120. Why do I know this? I know too much about keyboards. <laughs> I shouldn't know that much about keyboards. Here's the mice display. Play. I don't know anything about mice, so I'm not gonna talk about them. They have a Roblox keyboard. Oh, you get a exclusive virtual item with Razer, Razer Cyber Wings. That's cool. I don't play Roblox. <laughs> and what is this? The Logitech Cloud. Ooh, this is a nice keyboard. I've never seen this one. It's called the G715. Good job, Logitech. We have more. This whole wall is keyboards. We've got HyperX here, and then NZXT, and then Glorious, and then Steel Series, and then Red Dragon. Oh, <gasps> Geekon? They have Keychron in their new store. And there's another aisle. We've got more Logitech on this side. And ooh. Asus on this side. Got one of my newest favorites, the Strix Scope 2 96 Wireless. It's a mouthful, but it's worth it. Look at this. Demon Slayer themed gaming mouse. I like that. Wow, the Asus aisle's cool. I like it. There's so many keyboards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven keyboard aisles. So what are we doing today? We're gonna ask Micro Center employees to pick my keyboard parts, and then what are we gonna do with it? What if we just find someone in the keyboard aisle when we're done and we'll give it to them unless they don't want it then that'd be really sad you can walk us through your reasoning too it's up to you what you want to do caps, right? I know, we, we start with the base oh the base yeah yeah, yeah. have you built a keyboard before me personally no but I see a lot of these key cards, they be taking up a lot of our customers. A lot of our uh, reps also take them too. Really? Yeah. Have you used any of them so far? No, I mean, personally, no. I got a laptop at home right now. Oh, okay. But I do know, like, I know the ins and outs over okay. here. It's pretty much my area. Do you plan on building a keyboard anytime soon? Yeah, easily. So if you had to pick one of these, which one would you pick? I probably will see 96%, simply because it has, uh, like, less of the space around it. Mm -hmm. You don't need all that extra space. You got all that's nothing but buttons. Okay, okay, I get that. So we're gonna pick the Keychron Q12. All right, now we need to hoard someone else to pick out switches. <laughs> we're just harassing him. Micro Center, please. It's gonna need like a hundred switches at least. So I guess the first question is, are you gonna go for a clicky, a tactile, or a linear switch? I like linear. You like linear? But it's all personal preference. Yeah, oh, good answer. <laughs> I like that. It's just the simplest. It's nice to have the quiet too for like if you're streaming or anything like that. Yeah. You don't have all clickiness in the background. Yeah, exactly. So these are a red dragon. They're okay for the They're price, okay. I guess. Yeah. Are they like a good bang for your buck? kind of oh, switch yeah. And especially if it's like your first time building a keyboard or anything like that. Have you built a keyboard? I have not. I always oh. buy mine pre-built to be honest. Oh, really? I, I've upgraded <laughs> keyboards, but never like from the ground up. Okay. I'd like to just get it out of the box, plug it in and start playing my game yeah. rather than have to build it for like an hour or two. Yeah, that makes sense. What are you feeling? Good question. Because <laughs> after you put them in, you're not going to want to take them back out. It's so you have to get it right the first time. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I would probably go with those. Tactile feel and quiet switch. Or these ones. This is 
is what's in my keyboard now. Okay, so we're deciding between quiet tactile and a linear switch. Which one would you rather go for? I'd rather go with the linear. We're going with the linear? All right. Is that your final answer? Final answer. I'm okay. locking it in. We're doing it. <laughs> we're going with the linear and smooth. Each box has 24 pieces, so we need four boxes. Four or five boxes. All right, that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> well, let me show you the yeah. keyboard Ooh. first. It's the Q12, so it's definitely a unique layout. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, and, and you want me to replace the keycap? Yeah, okay. you like the keycaps on those? I do. This is actually one of my favorite keyboards. I really love it. I love the weight of it, especially once like you feel this in person. Mm -hmm. There's no other keyboard on the market right now that I yeah. like more. The thing about the switches specifically, uh, they remind me of clay poker chips. Clay you, poker chips. Yeah, yeah, they've got that real material feel. It doesn't feel like plastic. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like something fake. It just feels very, very real, very tethered, very heavyweight. Yeah, definitely. But, if I replace them. Yeah, we have to replace We them. have to replace them. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to. It's your decision, not mine. Oh, okay. If I'm keeping them, it's totally about feel. Because if you've just got something that's super clicky, mm -hmm. making noise, or even those keys don't respond or bounce back quickly, you're going to notice and it's going to bug you. So it's okay. really important to me for the feel to be on point. <laughs> ah, it's tough. I want to say stick with stock because I really like those keycaps. Honestly, I don't think I have a keycap out here Ooh. that is just as like unique as that key, key cron keycap. It's one of the best keyboards that we have in here in my opinion. All right, so we're keeping the keycaps, right? Keeping the keycaps. I think okay. this will be a uh, best decision too because that aesthetic of the key cron is very specific as okay. well. Okay, yeah, I can see that. All right, thank you. No, I appreciate All it. Right. Thank you guys. All right, we're sticking with the original keycaps. There's nothing better here, he says. We've got the key cron Q12 five packs of Red Dragon linear switches, and they decided to stick with the stock keycaps. But you've all seen me build a keyboard a million times, so it's gonna be done like this. <laughs> it's done. We're gonna give it away, but there's a catch. We're gonna ask people around here, customers and employees included, how many switches are in this keyboard, and if they get it right, then they get it. And this keyboard has a weird number of keys, so I don't think anybody's gonna get it. We've got lucky contestant number one. I'm gonna give him like three seconds to look at this keyboard and then guess the number. Uh, one. 16. 16 switches? Oh no, switches. Switches. Oh. Uh, 109. Mm, close, but not quite there. It's 102. Yeah, oh, it's super Southpaw. close. It's yeah. a Q, it's, sorry, it's a Q12. Q12. It's Southpaw and it's a 96%. Uh, cool. Yeah. Okay, we're back with lucky contestant number one. I have harassed like 10 people in this store and everyone has said no to me very, very awkwardly, but he's followed me, so I wonder what he's gonna do. <laughs> I actually made a custom 60% wrist rest for you guys. From scratch? From scratch. This is awesome. Since I have been rejected by 10,000 people, I think he deserves the keyboard, so congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. You get it. our custom built Q12, and it looks like it came out of the box, mm -hmm. but you know, the, the switches are different. Congratulations, and thank you for the wrist rest. No problem. All right, I am awkward. Word. <laughs> Check out the link in the description and pinned comment to get $15 off your entire purchase at Micro Center now. No purchase minimum required.